Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the shirts once again. St Agrew, Captain Terry Carlin, Smithy, Captain Mick Reed. And in the other pod, Common Getrix on the left there, Captain Ian Gear and Warhog, Captain by Paul Stevenson. Growlers in the arena, 450 kilos of menacing munch, and there, shunt with a bulldozer blade. Three, two, one, activate. Ready there, you can see the arena floor spinner in action and the spinning machine that is Warhog. In a little bit of trouble already, coming. Getrix's his axe comes down on Smidzy. Once previously reached a heat final, it was in the last wars, Robot Wars, the fifth wars. Have they improved again, Smidzy? Warhog again taking some punishment. We're seeing there the common Getterix team from behind. Now a little flip from St Agro, opening up the jaws of its flipper. Wonderful shirts, great design. The boys from Cornwall, can they go through? Now we're seeing common Getterix in action once again, using the big lifter against the arena sidewall. Warhog! And the arena sidewall is literally in splinters. That was the spinner of Warhawk, pressurised, that did that damage there. Come and get it with the big 100 kilo shove. Warhawk again slams against the arena sidewall, so we know the destructibility of that spinning disc and the blade. We know how heavy it is, but is it fully under control? St. Agro has activated that pit release. I wonder who's going to go down. Warhawk to me seems out of control. Oh, piggyback! Lift! <laughs> Lifted up on Smith. <laughs> Where's he going to go from there? Splendid stuff. Smithy took him for a ride. Down comes Warhog once again. <laughs> Warhog's totally out of control out there in the arena. Smithy doing some damage. Controls who needs them when we've got fun like this. Come and get her it. Slamming back <laughs> into the CPZ. What is going on out there? Do they know? I don't know. Come on, boys, get a grip. Growler certainly will. Come and get Rix against the arena sidewall. Seems to have impaled itself with his axe. Growler thinks so. Is having a little bit of a nudge? Well, who's under control? Who's still alive here? I'll have to ask Craig. I have not got the faintest idea. Come and get Rix has certainly caught its own axe. Oh, it's now Brain and he's gone into the pit. No! Oh, very nearly. Ooh, and the crowd! Dear, dear, War Thomas gone in and now finally St. Agro's bitten the dust and they've gone in. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, Warhog's still out there, I think. Smith is pushing it into the CPZ. Shunt's axe comes down. This is great stuff. Look at the eyes of Warhog. Come and get Rix is still there as well. Certainly, Smithy has done brilliant work for me once again. Smithy knocked out of the heat three times in the past. Can they go one step further this time? Warhog's been great value, although I'm not too sure the judges will agree with me if it goes to a judge's decision against the re <laughs> sideboard again. I love the eyes and the tusk and the nose out there, Warhog. Did it ever really know what it was doing? Growler backs in. Warhog piggybacking again on Smithy. Trying to take a ride through to the later stages. It's not going to work, boys. Go on, Smithy, get rid. Wait, oh no! Smithy would have gone in the pit there, surely by himself. Very delicate driving by the Smithy team, Mick Reed's team there. Warhog's almost gone, surely. It's trying to piggyback its way Cease. out of the pit, but it's gone, surely. Oh, that was brilliant. That's one of the greatest battles ever.